Hi, Heather. Hello. How come we could only see your wall? Are you serious? Oh, yeah. Hold Are on. you? Wait. There we go. Was that better? Hi, potato. Hi. Hi. Hi <laughs> Can we all hear each other now? Listen. I hope so. Listen. Okay. <laughs> I could so hear wonderful. you two the whole time. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> the only uh. one that I could hear was potato. So what? then all of a sudden I, I could hear her and I'm like, oh, dear God, let me get this working because I could hear her sighing. Right. I could, <laughs> I could hear the the heavy breaths. She couldn't hear me and she couldn't see me. And I'm like, oh, God. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out why it's not working. <clears throat> and then all of a sudden I hear, oh, I can hear you now. And I'm like, oh, phew, good. They can talk. So she's not going to be all anxious. So then I was listening <laughs> And you're talking about the albums that you're going to do and stuff like that. And then you're like, I wonder if Jay could hear us. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you said that you could. And I was thinking, I wonder if you can on this one as well. I we could, just sat here talking. The messed up thing is I invited you guys and I couldn't, you couldn't see me or hear me. It was like mm -hmm. you guys were the only ones there. Yeah. We were having Weird. our own little party. I blame Clayton. Yeah. <laughs> it's Clayton's fault. <laughs> He cursed Streamlabs. It's so fake. <laughs> he said it's as fake as that Kylie late cam or whatever, fire cam. But anyways, we're here. Hello, my lovelies. Hello. Hello. <laughs> we made it. So what do we what do we have? Who do we have left? We've got like five people. No, I'm just kidding. Jessica, we connect. Jessica and I have been trying to connect on lives. Hello, Angie and Snow. Lucia, Audra D, and I, oh, and Ultra CEO, blocked. Not yet, Ultra. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> There's time. Banksy, Lucia, Kim Maple, how are you? I heard what you said, though, Potato, before the live, so don't worry, I'll handle that. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> we have record <laughs> albums that we're going over, right? Yes. And uh, Potato picked the, probably the trippiest one. <laughs> Heather J, second trippiest one. I didn't g quite go so trippy, but I'm excited. So where <laughs> should we begin? Where should we start? So we have... Led Zeppelin, Houses of the Holy. Mm -hmm. We have, let's start out with the simpler ones. Let's do the yeah. who. Let's start out with. That sounds good. The who. So Potato chose the who. Who's next? Uh, I'm going to pull it up on the screen here. Potato, and look at those notes. She's got notes. I Get. need notes. I need notes for my Beatles one. <laughs> Your Beatles? Okay, hold on. Let's pull this up. Oops. Okay, we've got the who, who's next. So we're pretty much classic rock in it, Jessica, because those are pretty much the the most Iconic. intriguing. And we we like that music. So yes. naturally we know about it, right? Mm -hmm. And plus they're from the UK, so obviously they are. I'm going to do that. <laughs> They so are one of my favorite bands too. Yeah, I love them. And I wasn't going to do this one, but then I realized that I've been looking at this picture all wrong the whole time. Yeah, so tell <laughs> it. Okay, so let's talk about what we see before you tell us what we're uh -huh. seeing. Okay. Hello, Carrie. So it's a photograph taken at Eastlington Colliery, which is a town in England known for its history of coal mining. Okay, and well, let me tell you what I see. I see a big cement tomb. Mm -hmm, which shadows is on it basically what it is big okay, cement that's what i always thought it was heather, have you ever seen this shelter have you ever seen this before tonight heather j yeah okay yeah i just i never really paid too much mind to this album to be honest i mean but just looking at it i would say yeah it's concrete something and they're standing there and there's some shadows mm -hmm. but i guess that's really not what i'm seeing <laughs> no I mean, that's what I saw as well. Thought they're still on like a pile of mud, but it's yeah, <laughs> mountains or something. 
It yeah. looks like volcanic, like when volcanoes dry, like the lava. Mm -hmm. It does. It does. Yeah. What yeah. is it, potato? It's actually a pile of mining waste. Oh. What's that? <laughs> What's mining waste? Uh, whatever's left over. It's called slag, and it's left over from when they're coal mining. So the town that it's in is a coal mining town, and that big concrete thing is just a, I don't know, piling or something in there. And apparently it's covered now with the amount of waste that's there. Waste? So you mean like... You can't see it anymore. Not that kind of waste. Waste like from garbage? mine colon. I don't know what kind of waste that produces. I'm not familiar. I think with it's it. like sludge. I'm not sure. To be so honest. would you get really dirty walking around in there? I imagine so. Slag, Carrie said. Okay. Yeah. Slag. And that's um, just something that was left over. So those aren't their shadows? Because now that I'm looking at them, it doesn't look like they're them. Necessarily. I'm glad that, <laughs> glad that you thought they were shadows too, because I did. But then yeah, I thought they're, not the, shadows. they're not the right size or anything to be their shadows. Mm -mm. So <clears throat> after I read about it, I realized that they're actually urinating on that oh. concrete <laughs> thing. Oh my God, they are. Oh. Like, and they're sorting themselves out afterwards. So he's doing up his belt. <laughs> Except oh. for the guy closest to it. Uh-huh. Yeah. He's, he he's didn't just have to finished go yet. and he's walking away. <laughs> so they just took a leak. Mm-hmm. Well, that was the idea that they were supposed to, but only one of them could. So they had to get um, rainwater and use like a bucket to pour it on to make it look like they just peed on it. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. I mean... You wouldn't think that that much goes into the album. So why did they decide to go to this place? Do you know? Like, what was the idea? Well, they they got the idea from 2001 Space Oddity because it had monoliths in it. So that looks like a monolith because it's a big, tall thing on its own. Now, I don't know how they found this place. Americans, what that? What did you call it? A, a monolith. Mono monolith? Yeah. So it what just does means the monolith like, do? A big, tall, singular statue or something. Oh. Not a statue. Does because it, have it doesn't a really look like anything. Or... I think this one is just part of the coal mining place. I don't know. I guess they thought it looked futuristic. So, so where is this? Scotland? No, it's um, Durham. It's northeast England. So are you near there? No. I'm on the other side. You can't. Oh, so you can't go see the tomb. That tomb's gone. It's like all the waste it's is buried. Up. <gasps> yeah, it's buried. Yeah. So, what year was this? Uh, 1971. Oh my God! Before I was even born, this was mm -hmm. two years before J. BJ. <laughs> <laughs> BJ. <laughs> two years BJ. <laughs> <coughs> interesting. Interesting. Okay, is that all for this one? Because this one's pretty simple. Yeah. Pretty cool. Though. Well, Thanks. the, the other that. ideas they had for this cover was that they wanted to urinate on Marshall stacks. So the speakers that are like iconic rock and roll symbol. I don't know why, but. On the, on the guitar. On the actual, on the speakers. Oh, like on the <laughs> amps? Like the. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They were going to piss on Marshall amps. Yeah. Yeah. Weird. But. Who knows okay. why? Well, I'm glad they chose the. the... <laughs> coal mining thing but i i gotta say here look at this i really dig roger daltrey's jeans dude like i want those jeans what's are those them? not cool what's on the front of them though? they're like patches or something they're like you know hippie dude they're like different kind of you know patches patchwork yeah patchwork thank you <clears throat> they're pretty cool actually leave it to me leave it to me mm -hmm. So yeah, I thought that was funny that I thought there were shadows, but they're not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I did too. But then when you like common sense it, you're like, uh, it doesn't make no. any sense. Oh, who picked Blink-182? I did. They're going on tour. Did you hear I that? I know they're they reuniting. just reunited. Yes. Yeah, so I picked Blink-182. Um, I had it chosen before, but I decided to go with it because like you just said. They have reunited and they're going on to a. So, um, where is my info on this? Okay. 
So I've got some really, really weird shit on this one. Okay. <laughs> so this is from 1999. And the girl on the cover is called Janine Linda Mulder. And she was a porn star. Ooh. <laughs> and yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Um, and I have a where is she now on this. But um, she was also married to Jesse James, the Ooh, wow. biker dude. Mm -hmm. And she had a really bad custody battle over their daughter with him. Um, and she ended up arrested. So I do have a mugshot. But back Ooh. to... <laughs> <laughs> I know. Ooh. That, ooh, that was scary. Ooh. 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 Um, and if anybody wants to find that soundbite, I lost it. Of Tato <laughs> saying that? Mm -hmm. I just need, like, it, like, clipped from an old video oh, or something. From the Susan. Yeah, it was Susan Atkins. Ooh-wee. <laughs> so the name of this album is Enema of the State. And it was released June 1st, 1999. So, um... They hired this porn star to pose for this. Um, damn it. Sorry. I lost my, my thing here. Is that music annoying, you guys? Let me know. In I chat. was just dancing to it oh you do you were i just realized it was playing <laughs> oh well it's just it's really low it's supposed to be really low okay well here let's go let me open this up so you guys can see what i'm looking at this is going to be interesting the uh where are they now prepare yourselves because she doesn't look like that anymore Okay, so there you go. There's the album cover, right? And then there she is now. Fear not. Oh, I didn't share. Fear not. Oh, jeez. It's Janine. Oh, hi. <laughs> it's Janine. So there she is on the cover. Wow. And Enema of the State, they got the rubber glove. I mean, it's kind of... But one random fun fact is that that jacket had a logo, and I freaking lost my page, but there was a logo on there, and they had to put Blink-182 over it because they were threatened either to be sued or they were sued or some shit. Oh, wow. Yeah, Jeez. right? Um, but yes, that is... Oh, I like the birdie. That's oh, Janine. Sorry. I like it. And then we also know that Travis Barker had nudies um, mm -hmm. put out there, too. And that was another scandal. Hey, should I play In Into Space as the song? I kind of like it. We'll leave that on for a minute. Even though Tato's was dancing. All right, so that's pretty much all I have on that one. That one was pretty pretty lame, but I wanted to talk about the uh, that they've reunited and also give you the before and after shot. What was she arrested for? Oh, she had an alt she was in a battle a custody battle with Jesse James. Let's see. She went to prison for tax issues and domestic ab abuse. Oh. She was accused Yikes. by James for as for domestic yeah ouchies wow yeah so who wants to go next um J heather jay you've got kind of one that is a little complicated do we want to hit yours next or no i don't care all right let me get it here do we see it in the list oh there it is because that's not creepy oh ceo wants to go next what does ceo have do I even want to ask? No. <laughs> okay, there's your creep 
creepy album the beatles yesterday and today what do we have going on here why is there dolls with no heads and it looks like meat on so them they said that it was to protest the vietnam war but there's a bunch of different things going on with this some people thought it was because of their record label and the way their record label butchered their albums for the north american market so they think that that was a representation of that um uh, uh tato told me about a crazy one right before <laughs> that i had not heard of <laughs> of course it came from me <laughs> yeah. um that of course what was it there was a rumor going around about paul that he was decapitated and dead and that's why these babies are decapitated but this album came out before he was supposedly dead so take Wait, that what you will what does this piggyback off of the paul the fake paul and the real yeah. paul yep yep i can't <laughs> i can't but they ended up actually having to replace this album cover because so many people were upset about it and it caused so much controversy so they ended up i think it was just like a normal picture of them Oh, so if you have this album, it's probably worth a lot, a lot of money, right? Probably. Interesting. I don't, I, I don't get the Vietnam War, but hey, who am I? I wasn't the Beatles and I wasn't on psychedelics. I mean, it was 1966. Mm -hmm. So maybe they, like the whole My Lai Massacre, I think is, is that what it was meat, called. Though? I is don't that know like raw meat? meat ribs? What is Ooh. that? It looks like, you know, like Lady Gaga's meat dress. Let me see if it's, it's kind of pixelated. Why is it so pixelated? Probably because I sent it from my phone. What do you guys think that is? I swear it looks like meat. Yep, it is. So the photographer assembled props such as plastic doll parts, tray of meat, white butcher's coats, and a hammer and nails, a bird cage, cardboard boxes, and a set of false teeth and eyes. Ew. Which I do oh. not. Where's the bird I cage? See, yeah. At their feet. They look so happy as well. I know. <laughs> They're it's, so it's weird. Crazy. They are. Paul, look at him. <laughs> ah! He's like, oh, ah, I got my hand on this baby's leg. <laughs> and it's in its head on my lap. And it's got no head. I can't yeah, with the weird. Tops. I can't. Potato, I can't. <laughs> they're from your home country, girl. I know. So proud. You gotta own that shit. <laughs> you have got to own it. All right, where's the rest of my photos? I've got one more that I want to do before we get into the more in depth. Let me reshare. Okay, so this one, not a complicated one, obviously, but very iconic and never really thought that it would be an album cover that I would speak about, right? But when I was looking up album covers, I was reading, <laughs> was that the bird? <laughs> that was, that was my, cat. my bird. Oh, that was shit. My cat. <laughs> They're all oh, shit. Rupert, shush. Okay, so the guy who took this photo, the photographer... I never thought anything of this this before, but this is what he says is someone's viewpoint right before they're killed. Mm. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Kind of jarring, isn't it? Like, yeah. Ooh. Mm -hmm. And Easy E had a gun, but the photographer said it was definitely real. But it, he doesn't know if it was even loaded. So it's the photographer is down there and it's pointed. He didn't know if it was loaded or not. Oh my God. That's but he knew it was scary. real because back then they didn't really have fake guns like that. So, um, yeah. He said, I wonder this if is he the knew view of if was, about to get killed. I wonder if he knew it was actually going to be pointed at him before he got down there. <laughs> I don't know. I've got the article on him that he was interviewed in. He said, um, his name is Eric Poppleton, and he's um, he was just out of college. Okay, this is Chris is crazy. Just out of college, Poppleton scored a freelance gig 
just like my son does, right? Shooting NWA and his work would appear on a cover of a number of their releases. None more notable than Straight Outta Compton. We caught up with Poppleton to find out how the famous picture came to be and whether or not Easy E's guns was gun was loaded. He said, I was just graduated from the California Institute of the Arts and a friend of mine was an art director. At the time he was at Capitol Records but was doing some freelance on the side and got the opportunity to work with NWA. We were all basically at the same level, just starting out. We were just creating on the fly, not knowing where it was going to go. Prior to Straight Outta Compton, I shot the cover to Easy E's Easy Does It. But I didn't know much about rap, and this is the only music photography I've ever done in my entire career. I was totally unaware of who NWA were, but they were nice guys. To me, they weren't like their music in person at all. They had their friends there, and some of the setups, they were quite involved, but I didn't get too close to them. We had a very professional relationship, and it wasn't until years later that I found out the impact of the album cover. The shoot itself was a combination of my friend Kevin and my ideas, the two of us just making stuff up on the fly. We were in downtown L.A. We didn't have money for locations, and most of our shots were just really simple setups. There was no artificial lighting or anything. I just lay on the ground, and they pointed what was hopefully an unloaded gun down at the camera. I couldn't say for sure whether it was ready to fire, but it was definitely a real gun. There wasn't anything fake back then. I worked with NWA a few more times, like shooting the cover for the single Gangsta Gangsta, but after that, I went straight into working as a photographer for corporate and annual reports and advertising for a lot of TV and news stations around L.A. <laughs> Can you imagine going from this to corporate photography? <laughs> <laughs> he says here that now that he's doing um, he's also doing sports, action sports and stuff. And he said he's mentioned his role in Straight Outta Compton a few times to people in the music industry. And they're like, wow, completely blown away. <laughs> I think that's a pretty cool story, actually. Just straight out of college, straight out of Compton, and he's laying there with Easy E pointing a gun at him, Dr. Yeah. Dre, Ice T. I mean, what the hell? Craziness. What a cool story to be able to tell, though. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely is. Very, very cool story. All right, what's next on the agenda? Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts oh Club gosh. Band. Should we do Led Zeppelin first? Oh, yeah, I forgot about <laughs> it's a Led bit Zeppelin. Small. <laughs> I have the Led Zeppelin one too that um, Jimmy Page didn't like. And I'll explain why. But here's Houses of the Holy. I wish we could actually play these while we did this. Wouldn't that be cool if YouTube that wasn't so? Yeah. Okay, what's going on here? These look like little kids. Yeah, so people thought that there was like a few kids on there, like a little kid army, but there's only two, and they were brother and sister. I think the boy was like five, and the girl was a bit older. And they said that most of the photo shoots that they'd done at this time, they were actually naked in, which is kind of weird. <laughs> kind of. They always had to be naked. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> and like the boy said that he was only five, so he, he liked getting naked and stuff. He wasn't bothered about it, but his That's sister what was he said? older. Yeah. The yeah. boy said he didn't mind. Mm -mm. He he was like, I just strip off my Are clothes they from and England? Run around the rocks. <laughs> Are they from England? <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. So it's on the Giants Causeway, which is oh, where is that actually? Northern Ireland. Yeah, Northern Ireland. Um, and it's like a big tourist attraction place. So those rocks and things—they're actually columns. And they're in that shape because it's that it's made from like a volcanic eruption that's cooled really fast, and so it all fractures and it goes into those shapes. That is really cool. It is. Does that cool. still exist? Yeah. Today. Yeah, it's a big tourist attraction. Lots of people go visit. Oh wow! What's the name it's of huge. it? Giant's Causeway. So the legend is that giants had made it. Like the stepping yeah, stones. Yeah, that's really you know? cool. A little dessert. Did they know the kids? Like, how did they hire those kids? Do we know? I've got no idea. That's I mean, I guess they were just child models because they said that they'd done other photo shoots and things. So I guess they were just hired. And people thought that they were wearing wigs, but that's actually there. I was going to ask. Hair. Those were wigs. They got <laughs> they got hella hair. Mm -hmm. No, it's the real hair. I would love to see who those kids are now. 
there was pictures of them. I should have saved them. Was it really? Yeah, so they of... actually came out and they were like, um, that's my ass on yeah. Houses of the Holy. <laughs> yeah, they talked about it. Yeah. Like the girl was like, I don't think that they get away with this kind of thing now. It's like, yeah, probably not. Oh no. <laughs> like the the ba- the Nirvana baby. Nope. Yeah. So they shot this over 10 days as well. So they had to be out there in the cold for 10 days because they were trying to get the right lighting, but it kept on raining. So they were out there at dawn and dusk. Did it say how much they got paid then? I didn't see how much they were paid. It always interests me, you know, back in the day, how much these people got paid for these little gigs that they did. (laughs) You'd have to pay a lot to uh, get naked in the rain on the rocks. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) For 10 days. Yeah, that's a long time, but it's a really pretty cool neat. picture. It really is. It's pretty it cool. cool. Yeah. So they ended up looking purple because when they were doing the photo shoot, because of the light and they couldn't get the right lighting and she was doing it in black and white. And so the kids oh. ended up being really white in the pictures. I thought they were just British. <laughs> <laughs> just blue skinned. <laughs> that cold. Or, or maybe relatives of Elon's or something. <laughs> Little aliens. <laughs> But the idea for this picture was that they were climbing up to be picked up and go to space. You're kidding. No. <laughs> I was going to say, are they supposed to, is she supposed to be like a little mermaid? Mm-mm. So they're going to the top to be taken away in a spaceship? Yeah. So it was based on a story um, <laughs> called Childhood's, Childhood's End. And it was where hundreds of children would gather to be Childhood's taken off space. End? Childhood's end. As if that title isn't creepy in itself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We're gathering hundreds of children to send them to space. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Creepy Wed. story. <laughs> Wed. <laughs> <laughs> That's really cool though. I love the, the formations in that. That mm-hmm. it's pretty fascinating. Yeah. The designer who did it wanted them to look gold and silver as well, but they ended up looking purple and she thought it looked cool, so she kept it. <laughs> Yeah, they kind of look like um, like they're not human. Mm-hmm. Which I guess fits with the whole idea. Mm. They wanted it to look like futuristic and stuff. Well, they definitely achieved that, I think. Interesting. All right, here's my next one. Led Zeppelin 3. There's a lot going on in there. They got a lot of little drawings, right? I wish I could make Draw- that. How do I make that bigger without zooming, I wonder? I can. Angie B, you didn't have any of these ones? Okay, is that bigger now? It is for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is... Who's Dane Partridge, army vet? What? I just I just got a news alert that Army vet Dane Partridge was taken off life support. I don't know who that don't is. Know. Sorry, it just popped up on my screen. Okay, Led Zeppelin three. So, um, Jimmy Page did not like this cover because he said that it was teeny bopperish. <laughs> that was his exact words. Um, he wanted the picture wheel to cover on the front cover. So he was disappointed. He didn't want this cover. So by the time that ba- that the band finished the record, Paige couldn't wait on the cover any longer. It got to the point where he said, I have to have this thing. And he was not happy with the final result and said it looked teeny bopperish. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess I it kind of does. Yeah, it looks <laughs> like... like- <laughs> Stick it's kind of not, it's kind of nice. like a notebook <laughs> like a notebook when yep. you're in school you put stickers everywhere <laughs> so in in the 1960s um the artist that did this was zacron z-a-c-r-o-n and the london art world called zacron the king of collage so i'm not sure what he expected when he was like yeah it's kind of his they- thing <laughs> Well, yeah, when they kind of hired, like, a collage artist. Okay, so when you open the cover, you can spin the cardboard wheel. 
and it choose changed. which band mem oh it did oh yeah it's mm -hmm. back to decapitated babies <laughs> oh there we go you can spin the cardboard wheel inside and then in the openings it'll reveal their pictures mm. and if you choose one of the other okay so then when you okay so like if you slide robert plant's photo in the circle another picture of robert plant fills the hole at the top so like it doubles when you spin it and then if you choose one of the other band members you see different photos in the different spaces that are open so it's interactive uh-huh and then in the vinyl disc itself had run out grooves do you know what that means what does that mean i don't know run out grooves let me see in an album I bet you Mike Sander knows. I haven't seen him. I always him. think Mike's... Oh, he's not in here? No, I haven't seen him. Oh, shoot. He always knows. Oh, it's the area of a record between the end of the last track and on one side and the label. Mm. And what's that area oh, called again? Oh, so it had surprises in the run-out grooves. Okay, so... In that part between the label and where the last song ends, on one side, there was quotes from Aleister Crowley, Rob Elias quotes. Side one featured So Mote Be It. On side two, you found Do What Thou Wilt. What? Mm. Isn't Aleister Crowley like the Satan guy? Oh, the occultist he's a satan him? <laughs> no he's the lead of the satan oh. the satanist yes hold on alistair crowley yeah nope. he is an occultist <laughs> uh. yep yeah he's <laughs> hanging out with uh potato in the uk yeah he's also oh, on the beatles what? um sergeant pepper's cover by the way <laughs> he is yeah really? <laughs> mm-hmm oh why him i don't know but i want to hear what these things sound like what is that can i find those little clips of that they probably are on youtube or something wait hold on it's called do what thou wilt i bet you i can find it <laughs> ceo says play it in reverse <laughs> oh, no, don't that. do that <laughs> <laughs> i'm good okay theme okay so do what thou wilt thelemate Thelemic magic is a system of physical, mental, and spiritual exercises. Do I want to click it and read more? And spiritual exercises. Where, is, where did I leave off? Oh, my God. Okay. The, it's the Thelema. It's a new, it was a new religious movement founded in the early 1900s by Aleister Crowley, an English writer, mystic, occultist, and ceremonial magician. Weird. Okay. Oh, you know what? This also includes yoga. I think all that stuff was kind of lumped back then. Because remember, they always talked about, like, the Beatles and um, all those guys back then in the 60s were doing yoga. And they were, mm -hmm. like, traveling to go do yoga in, like, Egypt or something. Or wherever. But mm -hmm. all of this, this mentions yoga, occultism, um, Wicca satanism and then it says some scholars such as hugh urban also believe the lima to be in it to have been an influence in the development of scientology <gasps> uh. that would not surprise me <laughs> we that would scare somebody <laughs> mm -mm. yeah okay so what was the other one do hang on that was the do what thou wilt. And then this one is so moat be it. Let's see what this pulls up. Oh, God. It's from that Thelema stuff. 
So mote be it. Yep, by Alistair Crowley. It's that thelema. It's the same thing. It's a ritual phrase used by the Freemasons as well. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of used like when people say amen after someone saying a prayer. Mm -hmm. They use it like that. After, like, someone says amen, so mote be it. But, yeah, it's all affiliated with Freemasonry, um, Aleister Crowley, and all that stuff. So, they probably just did it, you know, just for shock value. I mean, let's not read into it too much. <laughs> yeah, let's not go there. Because I really like Led Zeppelin, so. <laughs> but is, that, it. <laughs> is that John Lennon's face? Or am I just, it doesn't look not clear. Where? Which one? Um, hang on, right here. I mean, it kind of, it kind of looks like. Or is it. that Jimmy Page? But I'm pretty sure it's Jimmy Page. Yeah, because yeah. when you spin it, see their faces. See this face up here? Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't even notice that one. Yeah, and look, whose teeth? The thing that makes it teeny <laughs> bopperish are the butterflies and shit. And the flowers. And the cupcake. Is that a cupcake? Looks like my three-year-old granddaughter's stickers. Mm -hmm. I see what he's saying. Yeah. But he's got the um, Hindenburg blimp thing in there as well. Yep. yep. Like and that was multiple times. Yeah. And that's on another one of their albums. Yeah. That's on Led Zeppelin 2, I think. Uh -huh. Yeah, it is. Of the actual disaster. What is this? Looks like a puddle. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a bluebird. It does a look bluebird. like a bluebird. Yeah. I mean, there's so many things on here. Like, what are they all? Is that a panda? Panda, 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 panda. <coughs> and like, what's that down there? Butterflies and a hummingbird. It's pretty neat, actually, when you start looking at it. Is that the all-seeing eye? Look. Oh, that's creepy. Mm. <laughs> you guys get so <laughs> <laughs> all uncomfortable in your skin. Like, Switch What's this thing? A sperm? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think that's a little spermy guy, isn't it? What else would it be? It's got to be a sperm. Why is it red, though? Yeah. Well, a red sperm. <laughs> Why are the kids purple? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, my God. It's a, it's snow sees a map. A, it looks like a recreational map to me. Recreational lake with an island in the middle. Hey, John McSmith. All right. You're up, potatoes. Uh-oh. This is a big one. Yeah. Let me know if you need me to, like, point or anything out here. Mm-hmm. So, this one was 1967. I'm Sergeant Pepper's I'm Lonely Hearts Club Band. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. So, the... The Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Paul explained the name in the album, um, in the Beatles anthology, and he said that it was the, at the start of the hippie times, and there was a jingly jangly happy aura all around America. A <laughs> jingly jangly, <laughs> jingly jangly happy. <laughs> he said he started thinking what would be a really mad name to call a band. And at the time, there was lots of groups with names like Laughing Joe and his medicine band or Colonel Tucker's medicinal brew and campground camp. No, compound. And all that. <laughs> <laughs> and all that Wrong case. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And all that old Western going round on wagon stuff with long rambling names. And so in the same way that I and the walrus John would throw together could you? <laughs> choking smokers and elementary penguin. I threw those words together. Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. So I basically just made it up. <laughs> just made it up. <coughs> mm -hmm. okay, so check picture... this out. Look, Don Wells is in the back. <coughs> oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> <Do we have> to? <laughs> <laughs> Look. 
Oh, you can't see him because this stupid stream yard thing. Hold up. Have you got it circled around John Wayne Gacy? <laughs> is that John Wayne Gacy? <laughs> yeah. Like, who not, is but it looks that? like him. I know. That's why I <laughs> circled. I wanted to ask you who in the hell that was. I do not know. Don Wells is up at the top left corner under where it says StreamYard. I can't see it. Is it covered Dude. by StreamYard? Genghis Khan? Yes, Kant? and I can't get rid of that <laughs> thing. Who? <laughs> Which one? The very top. Wait, can I get rid of this overlay? <gasps> yep. I oh, can. Yeah. Okay. See him in the top left? In the middle. Up very top left corner. The very top left. <laughs> the <laughs> guy with the big beard? And mustache? Yeah, it's Don Wells. <coughs> <coughs> Look. Hold on. You'll be oh, able to oh. see it better now. Look at that dude's eyes. Hold on. I got to get my scrolly here. Yeah, see Don Wells. <laughs> no, for real, though. Look at um. Look at this dude. <clears throat> yeah. It is oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. Who is he? I don't know, but look at his. He looks like the guy from the Adams family. Oh, Uncle Fester? Uncle Fester. <laughs> so these, um, there's the Beatles right here, right? Mm -hmm. They're wax works, those ones. They're wax Beatles? Mm hmm. So all the ones really? behind them are pictures that were put on, um, like hardwood, hardwood cutouts. Um, and they were all life size, so they put them all behind. And the only real people in it are obviously the Beatles in the front. Okay, so this chick <laughs> over here, Marilyn Monroe or whoever that is, is not real. Nope. The doll in the bottom right corner is an actual doll. Um, why does it have a male face? It's Shirley Temple. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's it is? supposed to be Shirley Temple. It's that's a doll a of Shirley, Shirley Temple. Temple. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see it now that I blew it up. Yeah, and she's wearing a sweater that says, Welcome the Rolling Stones. What? <laughs> mm -hmm. She is, isn't she? Yeah, so that, that was a gift to the photographer's son from Mick Jagger, who had got it from a fan. <coughs> so he decided to put it on this doll. And You're kidding put it, put me. Because they brought props and stuff, so What's he brought this, this doll. I'm not sure if it's a prop. Maybe it's another doll. Looks like or a, a woman. Out. I'm not sure. Yeah, it looks like a woman with a black hat on or something. That is so crazy. Creepy. Like, what's this? And this. Oh, look, this little girl is standing in front of a television set. See it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they said that that TV set is off because it's... um to show that <clears throat> the whole Paul is dead thing, that it wasn't going to be televised and it was all kept a secret, so they weren't reporting on it. Because oh. apparently... <laughs> what? So that's a, that's a grave as well at the bottom. Are we and ever meant... going to get away from Paul is dead? I mean, he's no? lived almost all of that. <laughs> <laughs> Not with this album cover. So this album cover, well, this album is meant to be like, well, it, it is the first one after he supposedly died. So he apparently died in 1966, and this was obviously 1967. Wait, Paul McCartney? <coughs> yeah. So yeah. who are we seeing that's acting like Paul? Um, Billy Shears. Billy so they done. Shears. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So what? Well, this is Billy Shears. Apparently, but I mean, it's not. Is it? It's Paul McCartney. But apparently, they had done a, a talent competition thing, or for lookalikes. Um. Paul McCartney lookalikes and William Campbell Shears won it as a lookalike. And obviously William, Billy short for William and his last name Shears. So that's kind of where Billy Shears came from. But they yeah. also say that Paul McCartney made that name up. So who knows? Weird. And look at this, like a mat, like a hockey mask, like Jason or uh, yeah, Jason. See that? It's kind. Of, it's all pixelated. I know it is. It's hard to see. The one next to it is really white, though. Yeah, the really white <laughs> one. And then there's this, like a Middle Eastern person up here. Yeah. So they had um, like Indian gurus and stuff. So 
they wanted to have people that were like important to them as the Beatles. So like their individual interests and things. Um, so Paul and John are the ones that gave the most ideas for this. And John Lennon wanted to have Indian gurus and Hitler and Jesus in it. So Hitler is actually in this one, but he's covered up because they thought it would be too controversial to have him in there. Really? <laughs> yeah, thank Yeah, so he's covered by someone else. Can't remember is who this else Jesus was. with his hand right here? They didn't put Jesus in because John Lennon had said previously that they were more popular than Jesus. So they thought it wouldn't be a good idea to put him in there either. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. So they're all like actors and singers and things. Look at this lady's like a nun over here. Mm -hmm. Mae West is in there as well. And apparently she didn't actually agree to be in it to start with because... Who's Mae she, West? She's an actress. And she said... Like, why would she be in a Lonely Hearts Club? So she thought it wasn't for her. But then they actually spoke to her themselves and they said that they were really big fans and stuff. So she agreed to be in it. It totally is like, where's Waldo? It is. <laughs> there was Summer a list of everyone is, but there's too many. They say, I see Summer Thunder goes, I see Benny Hill. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that's a crazy <sighs> one. I mean, I could see, though, back in the day, like, people tripping and, like, staring at these album covers. Mm -hmm. Well, especially this one at this time, because it was after they decided to, like, take a little break because they were all fed up of being the Beatles. So um, Paul had decided that maybe they could make this new band thing as, like, their alter egos so they could have something fresh. So when they're singing their songs, they're not singing as themselves, they're singing as somewhere else. Which also makes it weird for the Paul's Dead conspiracy thing because Paul's idea for this. So the um, designers that did this said that it was meant to look like they'd all just been to their concert and they were like all behind them and they were taking a picture of the crowd from the concert. But Paul said that his idea was that this was the Beatles' funeral. So the old Beatles that are next to them, like the younger ones, are looking down on the grave of themselves because they don't exist anymore as they were they were now this new band like psychedelic music kind of thing and the music did change as well after this so it was kind of like a transformation for them mm -hmm. yeah well that's the most but, fascinating one for mm -hmm. sure but then people did go down the whole Paul's dead thing because that little guitar the little yellow flower guitar at the bottom is a left-handed bass guitar and Paul was the only left-handed one <clears throat> and it's got three sticks on top of it which meant to be the strings and it should have four sticks because it's a bass but there's only three so they said that's representing the fact that Paul's not there anymore <laughs> there's only three Beatles man people are really stretching <laughs> yeah <laughs> I mean there's so much more so like his instrument they're all holding instruments and the other three Beatles are holding brass instruments and Paul's holding a black wooden one. So people were saying that black represents death and the wooden represents his coffin. <laughs> and he stood his face coffin? onto the camera. <laughs> yeah, his coffin. Yeah. And the same because he's the only one that's facing the camera and the others are like turned in towards him. It's showing that they're supporting him because you know, it's his funeral. That is just downright creepy. <laughs> yeah. And then the albums after this as well, though, there were things that people were picking up. In fact, in this one, too, this album cover was the only one that had um, lyrics on the back of it. So before that, they hadn't been putting lyrics on. And then they put all the lyrics to the songs on the back of this cover. And on the back of the cover, the picture is um, all of them again. But Paul's the only one that has his back to the camera. Oh, geez. So maybe yeah. they were playing into it, too, you know, because they saw people going I, yeah. crazy with it. Mm -hmm. we, yeah, because this this whole theory was like 1967. They're, they're totally <coughs> the, the type of around. band that would mess with their fans and run yeah. with it. And I think that they did as well, 
because um it, it got big in 1969 because someone had called into a radio show um and said that Paul was dead and they said to play Revolution 9 from the White Album um to play the intro to that backwards because it said turn me on dead man <coughs> and so then they were saying well <laughs> yeah like ceo said play it backwards you get to know what they're talking about <laughs> i know they used to say that all the time too right mm -hmm. yeah so people started playing their records backwards and then they'd ruin them so they'd have to buy more so it increased the album sales and things as well so i think that they did play into it afterwards to keep it going because it gets people interested people want to buy their stuff and start playing everything backwards see what they can hear and people did interesting fascinating i think it's fascinating too that those are wax beings of them mm -hmm. weird yeah the creative minds all right i've got one more the infamous nirvana baby the nevermind baby all-time classic all-time okay. classic this one um kurt cobain said he wanted a baby being born in water he already had a visual for a baby being born in water but that was before the internet and you'd have to go to child like a bookstore and go through child birthing books and try to find photos so that's what this photographer did to see what it would be like i guess well then the big controversy comes when the baby grows up and becomes 31 years old spencer <laughs> eldon and he sued saying that this was child pornography and he sued the band over alleged commercial child sexual exploitation oh my gosh but a federal court in california dismissed the case but um here i have a picture of the nirvana baby holding <laughs> holding the damn thing but i don't know i didn't get deep enough into it to see like how it must i mean obviously it was his parents who you know set it up for him to be on it but like i didn't mm -hmm. get that whole <clears throat> story if anybody knows it, I don't. I can't believe he ended up suing, though, because apparently he'd been recreating this over the years. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, and then he, he became 31, and he was like, oh, I can get some money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you hear that? Chasing the what? dollar like his picture. No, didn't hear nothing. <laughs> no, didn't hear nothing. <laughs> For some reason, I just opened that picture and then my computer went and it went away <laughs> what are you laughing about hj <laughs> 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 it <did>. that's why <laughs> i said did you hear that because it went <laughs> like the weird apple <laughs> when you do something wrong like when you go to drag a picture into something you can't drag it to and it makes that like it says I don't no. Know, like two, <laughs> it's like you're it's like you're trying to push two magnets together. <laughs> oh my god. Stop. You guys Your are... magnets make noises when you push them together. <laughs> if they could. If magnets made a noise, it would be like <laughs> There he is. <laughs> and I <laughs> I don't uh. know if he's at the same pool. I think he's at the same pool. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's at the same pool where it was originally taken. Mm, dear. And he said, you know what? My wiener, this is child <laughs> exploitation. <laughs> Unreal. <laughs> I want to know more about this, this guy now. <clears throat> Hold on. Let's see what it says about him. Naked. Ne this is a CNN headline, by the way. Naked Nevermind Baby loses lawsuit against Nirvana after judge dismisses child porn complaint. Oh my god, this was updated September 5th of 2020. This what? Was oh, wow. Oh my god. Oh, 
God. All right, let me pull it up now because I got... <laughs> this was just updated a month ago. Why? There's a video, too. Okay, hold on. Oh, shit. I just did it and then hit stop. Sorry. <laughs> the anticipation. <laughs> Naked Nevermind Baby loses lawsuit against Nirvana. Oh, yeah, da da da. Updated. Look, September 5th, 2022. Oh, look, they cut and, it out. And look, they cut off. <laughs> <laughs> I was just gonna say that they cut off the little boy's penis. <laughs> God, he was CNN. a cute baby. I'll give him that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was a cute baby. Okay, so Spencer Eldon, thirty-one, who appeared naked on the album cover as a baby, sued the band over commercial child se sexual exploitation. Um. Oh, the judge dismissed it because they said the statute of limitations of ten years had expired. And let's see. Eldon's lawyer told CNN he plans to appeal the dismissal. The cover of Nevermind, on which infant Eldon appeared swimming underwater, his eyes fixed on a dollar bill, has become one of the most enduring images in rock music. In the original complaint filed August 24th, 2021, he just did this last year. Eldon, he got bored during COVID. Mm -hmm. Elvin's yeah. attorney said the image was pornographic and that he has suffered lifelong damages oh as a result God. of his involvement. No one's going to recognize who he is. Give me a uh -uh. break. Right. Maybe because he told people. Well, then don't yeah. tell people. It was he asked. Okay. Um, Eldon listed the surviving band members, the executor of lead singer Kurt Cobain's estate and various record labels as defendants. After the complaint was dismissed, a second amended complaint sought damages for what Eldon called lifelong loss of earning income, earning capacity, what? loss of past and future wages, past and future expenses for medical and psychological treatment, loss of enjoyment of life and <sighs> other losses to be described and proven at the trial of this matter. The wow. lawsuit alleges that Eldon was sexualized. Because the image of the naked baby grabbing at the dollar bill made the baby resemble a sex worker. I did not make that connection ever. Absolutely <laughs> not. Ever. Wow. That's really uh, stretching there. Listen, Eldon has recreated the image at times during his adulthood, but he also suggested in interviews that he felt uncomfortable about the album cover's popularity. In 2007, he told the UK's Sunday Times, that he found it, quote, kind of creepy that many people have seen me naked. I feel like the world's biggest porn star, end D quote. Does he worry that he still looks the same down there? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe your girlfriends would recognize you, dude. <laughs> Jeez. <gasps> oh, shit, potato. The following year, he told CNN that he was often asked to attend events as the, quote, Nirvana baby. I'd be like, shit, yeah, I'll be there. Yeah. Dude. Yeah. You can see um, his recreations as well. He looks pretty happy when he's doing it. Yeah, little shit. He, he does told CNN. Song, but... He told C <laughs> I hope so. <clears throat> he told CNN in 08, rumor had it that Cobain had the original concept of wanting to show a mother giving birth underwater. But the compromise was to have a baby swimming underwater. Or so that's what I was told. The lawsuit alleged Eldon has and will continue to suffer personal injury from the defendant's possession, transportation, reproduction, advertisement, promotion, pre presentation, distribution, providing, and obtaining of child pornography depicting him. Is he upset at his parents at all for this, though? I mean, I don't know. It doesn't even mention his parents. Like, dude, you were They're... like six months old, if even that. Like, where were you? Why are you blaming mm -hmm. the band? Yeah. yeah. Did they kidnap you and put you in the water? Right? Yeah. What a weirdo. 
<laughs> He's so weird. He needs Ooh to just wee. go away. Woo wee. wee. That'll scare somebody. <laughs> He's an actor. Wait, here I have a reenactment. Wait, did you see this? <laughs> <laughs> what a fool. Are you kidding me? BBC has this on there. It's him under. <laughs> Is this what you're talking about where he's swimming? Mm -hmm. With short. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen something so ridiculous. HJ, have you seen this? No, it's not showing up on my screen for some reason. No, like... I haven't pulled it up yet. Hang on. Oh, hang oh. On. I had to airdrop it to myself. I found it on my phone. Like, what? I don't, I don't think I've seen okay, any hold on. I, I knew he did them, but I don't think I've seen them. <laughs> I don't think I was brave what enough to Google him. What a fool. <laughs> Hold on, it's loading. Just in case he really recreated them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's afraid of Tana. No one to be saying that. No, no peens. No peens. <laughs> Why isn't it pulling it up, guys? It's pulling up that damn video of those girls fighting. There we go. The babysitter and that mother. Oh. Oh, from earlier. <laughs> yeah, it kept pulling up that video. I'm like, wait a minute. I don't want to show that. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Doot, doot. I don't know what I'm doing. Share screen. Here we go. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no, what a fool. <laughs> and he's old in this, and now he's damaged. Wait, hold on. How Meg, old is he? What's wrong? How old is he where? When he recreated this. <laughs> um, <laughs> let me see. He's done it several times, it says. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, but his statute of limitations went up in 2011. It doesn't say when he reenacted it. I'm glad he didn't get a dime from them, though. Yeah. I really am. I mean, you could really have fun with it. And not be a Sue happy asshole. Mm -hmm. well, it looked like he was having fun with it to start with. Look at him. <laughs> he's so creepy. I don't like this. It's like he's <laughs> staring into my soul. <laughs> <laughs> he's coming to get you, Heather. <laughs> you better stay wherever the hell he is. Does Wait, he have a tattoo go. on his chest? Yeah, what probably say? says never mind. Never I'm mind. Just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it looks like it does say that though. It does, yeah. Oh, I think does it does it? say that. Hold uh -huh. on. Oh, I was just kidding. <gasps> no, it does, it does say that. <laughs> I was totally joking. <laughs> oh, come on, dude. You can't get the album title. I yeah. It's so much on you. And then it's new. Uh, wow. Wow. Much cuter there. Yes. <laughs> Even with his little dinghy. <laughs> I'm just hoping Megs is okay. She just said she was scared. And I see that everybody in chat's been talking to her, though. Snow in Europe, he could have done that naked. Even nowadays, is that like... I don't want to see that. No. <laughs> potatoes are snow. Potatoes are snow. No. Speak for your own country. <laughs> Not in England. Thanks. Yeah. Speak for your own country. How about, how about in Germany? He can do that naked. Keep that shit over there. <laughs> I can't believe he has the album name on his chest. And then he has the audacity to sue them. In Germany, he can still bathe naked. I mean... Yeah, you can. I mean, there's beaches and stuff, isn't there, where you can go naked? Not in England. I mean, it's too cold. But... Jessica... <laughs> Jessica says I'm embarrassed for it. <laughs> Don't you hate that feeling when you get embarrassed for someone? 
Isn't it second kind of hand like, embarrassment? Oh, yeah. It makes me feel like sick. Mm hmm. Mm. Look what Megs went through. A man oh, was staring my at my window at 11 p.m. two nights ago. After calling the cops, I learned he was a wanted man. <gasps> I have never been so scared. Oh my god, that's so that's... creepy. Oh wow. Is he Did they get him? Pick him up? Yeah. I hope so. Oh, Megs, we're so glad you're okay. Terrifying. Two nights in a row. Oh, two nights ago. That's horrible. I hope they got him. Yeah. You know, where was this at? What state? That is petrifying. But it's yeah, petrifying. Is that? <laughs> <laughs> Heather, would you rather have this enema of the state? <laughs> Yes, actually. <laughs> yeah, me too. She's putting, she's putting on the rubber glove, getting ready. <laughs> Do you think that this is real, the tattoos on her? I don't think they are. They look extremely vibrant, like she had just yeah, had them right. done if they are real. Yeah. It's funny, too, to look back on these old ones. Like, you were talking about, like, how these are... Pe not people but pictures like mm -hmm. their cardboard cutouts i didn't know that they were actually life-size cutouts so i just thought that they would been put like, on there yeah but you know what if you think about it back then did they have the capabilities could... to cut out like we do now like photoshop mm. no cut and paste in yeah no photoshops back then yeah so they had to use the actual cutouts to get that cutout look and this cost a lot of money yeah. to do as well so they, they spent like three grand on it and normally they'd only spend like 50 pound on an album cover because oh, three wow. grand was like a year's wages for the average person you're kidding really mm. yeah oh she yes they're in jail oh, took good. them to oneida county jail oh i think that's new york thank god yep new york she said I just think it's funny because, like, our kids absolutely would not understand not having, like, the ability to cut out. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Not being able to, to have to go instantly. through. Yeah, go through all that. <laughs> right. You have instantly. to put some work in. <clears throat> yeah, like, like my son that refused to drive somewhere without GPS, like, refused. Yeah. It's frightening. <laughs> Ooh, wee. Ooh, scary. Wee. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> this was fun, you guys. I think we should do more because you know what? While we That's were doing so this, I, was, I know. And I was thinking about the one. Remember the um, there was a Leonard Skinner. Hey, Santa, uh, welcome back. He did show the up. One, <laughs> he did. He did. Because I said I did my famous. I bet Mike Santa knows. And Heather said you weren't here yet. Um, but the, uh, Leonard Skinner, right before the, they had an album that had fire behind them. And then after the plane blew up and they, they I don't know how many of them died, but after that plane exploded or whatever, they removed the fire. So like oh. most of their albums don't have the fire. So it's kind of like one of those things if you happen to you know have that copy it's you know one in a worth something yeah it's worth definitely worth a lot but there's other albums like that that came out and then they change them so i'm gonna look into stuff like that too just to kind of switch it up i know because there were a couple interesting that came out like right after 9 11 or were supposed to come out after 9 11 and they had the uh -huh. twin towers and i forget which band it was i'll have to go back and look it up they ended up taken taken that it off. picture yeah, yeah taking that picture completely off there and went with a whole new one mm -hmm. yeah because that doesn't even exist anymore right right Weird. yeah there's a lot of things like that where they've changed things or maybe got backlash and then changed them um but there's a lot of cool little stories out there behind it mm -hmm. which i think is totally interesting to be honest um Bella. <laughs> I know you I forgot you guys can't see her tonight. No Bella Cam tonight. 
<laughs> Although, oh, it says upgrade for multiple cameras. But hey, thanks for um, being patient, Potato. I know it's late. It's I know okay. you've. I know you've had holidays, and we finally got it all together. You know, it's just good old Streamyard. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and and realize that I'm this. I'm not the best streamer. I'm the second best, like Clay said. The second best. Oh, just stream like sucks. Stream you know, they really sucks. they need to get it. They need to get it together. You know, and it's not yeah. together. So. so. So for these ones, we'll just use this. I mean, I got it up in what five minutes, mm -hmm. and it works. And we can hear, <laughs> and we can potato. hear each other. I know. I I heard potatoes' <laughs> thoughts when I could hear you thinking, "Why does Jay try to use these things <laughs> when they never work?" She still tries them, even though, and it's the same thing every time. I heard you when we logged in. She said. <laughs> and then Heather J. Heather J. Texas says it's the same thing. I don't get it. I was like, oh no! <laughs> I spent three hours on my computer with Stream, yeah. Stream Lab lady trying I, to fix this, and she told me it was fixed. I can't believe it's not working again. And, and all I heard was <laughs> the sigh. <laughs> And I can't hear you. And I can't see you. <laughs> so I'm really glad Heather that... Could, Heather can hear me, though. Yeah, so at one point she's Everybody ripping her out of her notebook. Like yeah, this. I did. I'm like, oh, she's pissed. <laughs> no, oh, I wasn't. Every... I had a little bit in my book. Was... It was annoying Oh, me. when she first came on, when she first came on, wait a minute, let me tell you what I saw when she first came on. <laughs> Hold on. Let me make it small. Let me get rid of this. This is my reenactment. <laughs> Of, <laughs> here's my potato my potato reenactment of waiting for Jay to start the stream when there's no sound, can't see the host, can't hear the host, have no idea what the fuck's going on. So I'm just gonna do I'm gonna just fix my I'm gonna <laughs> I mean I I'll do that when I'm on here as well. So I mean Okay. It's just normal. Heather J, where the fuck is Jay? <laughs> I didn't actually what the say that. What the fuck <laughs> is going on? I did not I, say that. No, you didn't. You didn't. I'm just playing. It, I was just playing. We all do that shit, but it was just funny because you you couldn't see me, and I, I felt like I was. It felt weird. Like it just, <laughs> Voyeurism. It didn't. Yeah, it didn't feel right. It really did not feel right. Well, like I said, oh. I mean, I knew that you probably could see because you could see before. <laughs> Uh, I wonder if Jay can see us. Yeah. I was like, you're suddenly going, uh huh. <laughs> and I'm st I'm sitting here on my cam. I was literally going like this. Hello, can you fucking see me? <laughs> like, how the fuck can you not see me? I can fucking see you. I can hear you. I'm running the stream. Hello, and I'm like, I, I fucking can't. <laughs> oh, it's all fun and games. We get that in the end, though. Good night, Angie B. <laughs> This this is a late night for Angie B. Ah, uh, good night, Angie. It's oh, it's only good night, Angie. It's getting dark early here. Uh, why are you calling Angie B Bay? C. Oh, <laughs> he said bye, Bay. <laughs> <laughs> we are <laughs> we are so old here at at Jasper Thomas. <laughs> You'll be live in 30? Where? <laughs> On Mars? With Elon? From Mars. Oh, can With we talk Elon. for a minute about the Everything app? Oh, no. Just really quick. <laughs> I just want to, I just want to introduce the, the fact. The X Everything app is being made by Elon. And what I want you to do is after we get off this live, just go on YouTube, type in China app for everything. And there's tons of videos and China just loves it. They just fucking love it. They have a QR code for fucking everything.
they go to buy a tomato at the farmer's market, there's a fucking QR code for that. Snow knows what it is. Woof. (laughs) Woof. (laughs) Yeah. Yes, the app for everything. So all they do... I know. Good night, Angie. Get some rest. I love that she goes to bed early, though. She's so disciplined. I always think, oh, I'll be fine. And then I feel Mm -hmm. like shit the next day. I love how she's disciplined. Oh, okay. Bye, bae. (laughs) (laughs) But all they need is this. They don't need a wallet. They don't need a debit card. They don't need an ID. Because that is also in the app. So if you're asked for your identification, it's all in the app. So if it's That's ever scary. Hacked, then everyone has everything. It's the everything app, babe. <laughs> it's the okay, everything bae. app. <laughs> oh, <bae. laughs> <laughs> so why are we being mold why are we being molded into China? Well, why is Elon wanting a social media app for everything when he was telling everyone to get off social media in the first place? Why is Elon talking out of both sides of his mouth? Oh, by the way, the Twitter deal's back on. Mm. Yeah, see? <laughs> so he's going to own Twitter, and he said that Twitter is the gateway to X. So <laughs> if I put my phone in my pocket, at the pool like I did stupidly a couple weeks ago. My everything is gone. Gone. I don't like that. So I'm against the everything app. I like mm-hmm. everything bagels. I like everything seasoning. <laughs> but the everything app <laughs> I'm nope. digging it. And we started out you're right Mike Sanner. We all we all downloaded this TikTok bullshit. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. a portal straight to China. You want to go to China? Download TikTok. Right? Put your personal yeah, shit out there. Just go ahead. Put it out there. Put your put your faces out there. Let them deep fake you. I'm just nah. kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But... <laughs> no, seriously. So if we start and that's his first his first little thing before the, the chip. These are mm-hmm. all these are all introductions to the chip. You're gonna have the everything app. It's going to accustom us to having all things in one place. But then this is going to get to be really cumbersome after a while. Because we're going to want to be hands free. So when this becomes cumbersome, they're going to want to put this right up in here. And then we're hands free. Fuck that. And then we're screwed. I don't even like this here. I would ra- I would rather this be somewhere else. I don't even lately I've been charging my phone in the living room and letting it charge and being in another room. Mm-hmm. Is that bad? So I was no. told that no. I was bad because if one of my not bad bad, but that if one of my kids needed me that my phone being in another room was not a good thing. Thoughts? My phone's never with me all the time and it's on silent most of the time as well i mean are we not allowed to fucking sleep (laughs) exactly well i mean what's the difference from when well when i was a kid like the the landline phone i mean that wasn't in the bedrooms yeah i mean Mm -hmm. what if you didn't have a phone in your room that phone rang in the damn kitchen yeah Mm -hmm. and you had to get up and walk out to the (laughs) damn kitchen to answer it and if you were sleeping you were like fuck it let the machine Mm -hmm. get it i'll call them back Yep. There's nothing wrong with that. Mm-mm. <laughs> Meg said, I'd rather be half Amish because I want to shower. <laughs> <laughs> Meg says, I don't dance for China. I just watch. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, you're not having a conversation with yourself. Hold on. Let me go back. She said, I might go for the chip. <laughs> Oof. Ooh. Tweeting to Starlink. Uninstalled. What are you saying? You're saying what? one word. <laughs> <laughs> Snow has already had the chip and she's already been taken over. Informer. <laughs> Facebook will be next, maybe. Not sure yet. 
Oh, she uninstalled. Oh, uninstalling them. Oh, oh okay. Okay. <laughs> she says, I have China in my house. J for J. Ma <laughs> No, I'm taking your wrench. <laughs> Shit. It was not made in China. <laughs> it was. Oh my gosh. They were shipped straight from China. <laughs> Snow, you are too fucking much, man. Just when, you know, she's like the one you don't expect to come out with. <laughs> oh, you are too funny. It's always the quiet ones. I It's those quiet ones. Look at I'm having a conversation with myself with a little parrot. <laughs> oh, I, I thought know. you meant like snowbird. I know porcelain's <laughs> called China, but that shit came to you straight from China. Hey, you should be impressed. You guys love TikTok so much. The shit comes from the land of TikTok. <laughs> my my mugs come from the land of TikTok where TikTok was created. So you guys should all love that, all you TikTokers. <laughs> I give up on TikTok. I'm done. I got mm -hmm. rid of that Snapchat a while ago. I, I couldn't even figure that Snapchat. I, could, I, I didn't, didn't understand what the point was. And then I got fucked with by Twitter people, so I was like, "Sweet, I'm out of here too." I didn't understand Twitter, so I didn't use that. <laughs> uh, I Twitter. It's just a bunch Twitter. of Twitter. But Twitter. if Elon buys it, I'm gonna give it a chance again and see what he does. I'll do that. For Elon. Just for her boyfriend. Her kids will inherit <laughs> those mugs. She said her kids are going to inherit those mugs. <laughs> Real China, baby. Real China. <laughs> They're going to get there and, you know, get them passed down Christmas Eve. Honey, get the fine China. Okay. <laughs> I'm the J for J. <laughs> <laughs> and when you pick it up, it goes, Roberta. <laughs> And that'd be cool to have a little button on the bottom when you pick it up. Like, We're murder. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Leo Tech's trying to cook. You know what? Speaking of cooking, I haven't eaten dinner yet. Um, <laughs> Megs wants to know if you can come call her neighbor a twit. A twit. <laughs> <laughs> a Such a oh. twit. Bloody twit. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> Why do you guys say bollocks? Bollocks. <laughs> what is it? Bollocks. <laughs> bollocks, right? You yeah. don't. <laughs> you don't say bollocks. Bollocks? No. Never mind balls. the bollocks. It's oh, we yeah. say damn pistols. it. <laughs> That's the only thing I know. Never mind the bollocks. It's the sex pistols. So what does that mean? Never mind the bollocks. Yeah, that's the name of their album. Never mind the bollocks. It's the Sex Pistols. Tonight. <laughs> really? <laughs> that's it, Tato. <laughs> I mean, bollocks can mean like a load of crap, or it means balls. So. Oh, so maybe like never mind the shit. It's the yeah. Sex Pistols. Like, okay, I get it. So uh -huh. bollocks. Like, if, like if you said to me, like if I dropped something, I'd like. Well, I wouldn't say it. <laughs> you oh, could say, yeah, oh you bollocks. <laughs> You do say it. <laughs> she said she doesn't say it. Or what about like a load of bollocks? What if you yeah. like um cut your finger? Do you go? Oh shit! Bollocks! <laughs> bollocks! I cut my finger. I mean, you could. Bollocks? Is that a bad word? Can you say it in school? No. <laughs> it kind of like it means oh shit as well. You can't say bollocks in school. No, it's a swear word. You get in trouble for saying you can't bollocks. Say swear word. Yeah, because no. it means balls. <laughs> Balls. Yeah, but you could say balls in school. Okay, well, I'm going to go to the gym and play well bollocks. Is that how it works? <laughs> I'm going down to the gymnasium. I'm going you don't to want, You don't want to be going to the gym and playing with those kind of balls. <laughs> I don't want to go to the gym. Issues. I don't want to go to the gym and play with bollocks. No. The sweaty bollocks. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> The sweat, bloody, <laughs> bloody ball, but bloody bollocks. <laughs> I hate you too. I hate you. I love you. I hate you. <laughs> International swear words with Look Jay. At Mike Sanner knows everything. Are you fucking kidding me? 
me? Bollocks. <laughs> Bollocks. Testicles, yeah. He's got the pronunciation. Is the is a I word of Middle a... English origin, meaning testicles. Hmm. Interesting. These nuts. Is that how it used to be spelled? Then? These bollocks. <laughs> bollocks. B-O-L-L-O-C-K-S. How do you spell it? No, the one next to it. B. Well, what? Oh, that's backwards or something. That's how to pronounce it. <laughs> bollocks. Why is it all backwards, though? <laughs> uh oh. Are you serious right now? <laughs> it's the pronunciation. Yeah, but it's backwards. <laughs> it's not backwards. It, On mine it is. <laughs> they, don't, they don't do this in England, I don't think. Oh, do maybe. Guys, do you ever Am do I not <laughs> seeing it the same? Look at the E. You... Yeah, the E is upside down. Yeah, upside down. It's, it's and the A is back. also backwards. She doesn't do it like that. They don't do it like that. Dude, that is our that's our um phonics. What? Mm -hmm. Phonics. That it's is how we, that is how they teach us long E, short E, um, and all that shit. That's how we learn to pronounce our words. Mind blown. That is in the dictionary <laughs> next to each word, potato. That is the pronunciation thing. That's supposed to tell us how to say it. What? Yep. That's supposed to tell us <laughs> how, to, how to pronounce bollocks. I have never seen it like that before. So the E is, a, what is that? A short E? Bollocks. Eh? Eh? Yeah. <laughs> how do they teach you guys phonics there? Like A-E-I-O-U. Well, not like that. <laughs> Yeah, that's how we learn. It confuses me too. I look at it and I guess I'm like, like okay, bollocks. Like how, like how, like neighbor and way, like two different e's, two different pronunciations in those two words. Way, like w e i g h, way. That's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> so that we know how to say them. Yeah. Or like, yeah, yeah. Why is the a backwards? I don't know. Why is the A backwards, Heather J? Dude, Probably this shit's getting it's... deep. Uh, <laughs> Alright, you're gonna make me Google it now. Thanks, Mike Sanner. <laughs> Mike... No, Mike Sanner, you should come up here and explain the shit. Dictionary pronunciations. If someone from England comes in and says that they know what this is, then I guess I'm just stupid. <laughs> No, you're not stupid. I think it's an I think it's an American thing. Exactly. It's You've definitely it's the form. Yeah, like if you go to dictionary.com, okay, and put in um I don't know. Any word. Okay, I'm gonna show you. This is what's gonna fuck you up. Because this is what I don't understand. Here. This music okay, makes so... me feel like I'm waiting for something. Or <laughs> Does it? Does it make you have to pee? No. I need to pee. Okay, so see, I put podcast in. Do you see the two? It's got like an umlauf over the A. Yeah, I see it. Podcast. <laughs> right, but it's podcast. <laughs> but here, let's listen to the speaker. I don't see, I don't understand this either. Oh, it's wicked low. Oh, it is. Oh, probably because I'm on Safari. But I mean, I'm just I'm shocked that you don't like you guys don't have this. Not as far as I know. I mean, maybe we do, but. <laughs> okay, magical. See? Magical. But... Why is what it was... upside down E? Because of the way the E is pronounced in cull. Magical. Instead of like tell. Magical. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I've never really thought about this, but it is rather weird. Okay, this we might symbol... need an English teacher. <laughs> oh, lessons <okay>. with Jay. <laughs> I know, right? 
the sound of fanon, fanon, phonetic symbol upside down E. Short A is what it sounds like. Yeah, it's confusing as shit. Do they still teach this this way in schools? I, I guess no they do because it's in the dictionary like that. See, I don't remember this stuff. They're weak vowels is what they're called. Potato. Mm. Potato, we'll get you hooked on phonics. <laughs> to hooked on phonics worked for me. What is the difference between upside down E, da da da, the raised schwa? It's called a schwa, okay? Schwa. 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 Schwing. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was looking for. Schwing. <laughs> so it's a schwa. <laughs> there so now we're smart we know it's a schwa and so yeah mm -hmm. so moat be it so moat be it <laughs> did you get that so moat be it alistair crowley oh my god you guys go to bed <laughs> go to bed do not do anything else go directly to fucking bed <laughs> you hear me I'm still sharing, <laughs> aren't I? Not now. Okay. Balix. Balix. <laughs> Snow says my kids don't want my help. You've been unable to help your son since grade five? Yeah, I don't but even know how they teach shit anymore. Oh, Common like that. Core. Yeah, the new math. Common core or whatever. That, no. If I had a kid. Nope, sorry, you're not learning that. I don't care what your teacher says. Yeah, I don't even know what that means. It's like the worst way ever to learn math. I don't get it. I don't get maths anyway. I don't get math anyway. <laughs> I I never oh. made it past pre-algebra, so. <clears throat> and I'm not mad about it, and I'm not afraid to say it. Mm -mm, me neither. I, I never it. made it past it. I hate it. I don't give a fuck what A and B and Z is. I don't care. I don't care uh about pie. I don't. I don't That's why care. I have this. Yeah, exactly. You don't need yeah. that shit anymore. Yeah. Why do we have to take algebra if we're getting an everything app? Well, they, remember they used to tell us in school, they're like, you're not going to have a calculator in your pocket. Mm -hmm. well, guess what? Yeah. I'm going to have a calculator in my brain. In my brain. Yeah. <laughs> for real. What does that mean, though, for for students? Like doctors. Brain chips. What does that mean for them? Ooh, I've never thought of that. Are people in government going to have the brain crisps too? They'll and probably have be in charge. Brain crisps. <laughs> They'll probably get them first. They probably already have them. They have them. Just kidding. <laughs> if they had them, Biden wouldn't get lost on stage after a speech. That's true. He would have GPS guiding him <laughs> off the stage. <laughs> Uh, bless them. One step to the right. <laughs> that is not your wife. Do not grab her <laughs> hand. <laughs> Snow says, who will fix the technology if no one knows math anymore? <clears throat> Robots. <laughs> that is going to be, that's the scariest thought, is that we're going to be the dummies. The robots are going to fix everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tater I mean. would be cute singing the alphabet. I agree. She sounds just like Peppa Pig. <laughs> and George. Hello, George. Daddy Pig. <laughs> Hello, George. Z AI. Yeah. I don't know. All right. On that note, it's nine o'clock. It's time for a potato to go night night. It's 2 a.m. It? It's what? 2 a.m. in that world. Oh, wow. There. Yeah, it is. I know. Potato. All right, guys. <laughs> Be sure to check out my other videos and playlists for more true crime content. And if that's not enough, you can join our Patreon. Don't have a tinfoil hat? It's okay. We'll make you one. It's that easy. See you guys in the next one.